Yeah. I was recently asked. Do I believe in creationism or evolution? And I thought that it was appropriate once to finally give a decent answer which really describes the basic essential meaning of both of them. Now, none of this is my opinion. It is only facts. Evolution is merely a name for what already exists. All the best scientific minds and technical specialists from completely unrelated fields, motives and economies all universally agree on evolution due to not being able to ignore basic scientific principles. Evolution is a scientific theory. What this means is that nothing has disproven it yet. Creationism isn't even a single idea. There are multiple conflicting stories of which most, if not all, ignore basic logic and reasoning. In other words, they are either proven untrue or have no evidence in which to support their claims, just like Santa Claus. You might not be able to disprove Santa Claus, but was there anything that ever gave you an indication that Santa Claus ever existed in the first place? You can make up anything you like. It doesn't mean it's true. Now, the scientific theories Gravity is a scientific theory. Debating legi the legitimacy of evolution due to it being a theory puts you straight up against Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, and Stephen Hawking. You could want specialists in biology, geology, astronomy, chemistry, agriculture, and every other field in the world that I can think of all agree that evolution is the best science and knowledge has to offer due to the overwhelming evidence and it has not yet been disproven. The only reason here evolution is a theory is because there is no absolute truth in science. In science, for something to be true, it's usually provisional. What this means is that you can't research forever. There has to be a point at which point you say, I only want my study to be so precise. For example, if you're going to prove why a racehorse runs, you're not going to argue all the way down to the molecular level, which you could if you wanted to study muscles. But would you then go into the atomic lane? Would you then start talking about quarks? Probably not. What this means is that there's always going to be more and more detail which you could always go into. And that means there is no absolute proof. Absolute proof is an invention of logic and an invention of religion. It does not exist. Furthermore, science is merely a tool used to find out more and more knowledge. Religion and science are not interchangeable. They merely have similar applications in some areas. Just like a typewriter and a computer can both be used to type a letter, a computer and a typewriter are very, very different in almost every way imaginable. Science is not a religion, and religion is not a form of science. A typewriter is not applicable to computations. A typewriter could not sequence a genome. A typewriter could not play an mp3 unless you bought one that did I guess but that wouldn't be a function of a typewriter. Science and religion can both be used in, uh, I don't even know where they can both be applied, I can pro probably think of one or two. The point is they are different things, they're apples and oranges and they should not automatically be both put on par and both put on the same page. For religion to be in the debating chamber with the, the evolutionists and biologists, there must be a reason for them to be there before they're even allowed in the room. I'm perfectly vamp, and I don't see any legitimate reason why religion should be given any kudos in the scientific world. Thanks for watching.